friends today what we are going to do is we are going to learn about shapes and then we are going to make something out of what we learned okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need crayons we need markers we need uh, a paper we are just using half a paper um, you will also need a pencil to draw and I have a, a whiteboard to practice draw on it. Okay, I'm going to cut this paper in half because we just need half a paper. Uh, if you have half a paper from last week, you can use that. I don't have, so I'm going to cut this in half. You may need um, to ask uh, an adult to uh, cut a paper for you. Okay, so I'm going to save this for next week and then um, maybe I'll put this also away right now and then let's talk about shape what is a shape so shape is uh, how do we make a shape so any idea shape can be made by a line remember the lines that we learned so um, so when a line um, how do we make a line? Line is a dot going on a walk, right? So if the dot start from here and then go walk like that and then walk like this and then come back, we get a shape. So uh, we can say a shape is a, is it open? Is this a shape? No, the shape is always closed. So this is a shape now. Okay, it is uh, shape is created by a closed line um, so now there are different time, uh, kinds of shapes so these types of shapes like this maybe this mm -hmm. then things like rectangle square can you name all these shapes that I'm making? This is not a square. This one, square. Hmm. What else? Um, so these shapes that is I you can identify or uh, that that the shapes that are regular. These shapes are called geometric shapes. Okay. And um, the shapes that are irregular that has no name they are called organic shapes so these are the geometric shapes let's now draw some organic shape shapes like things that you see um, so this is an organic shape things that you see in the nature right This is another shape that you see in the nature. This is also not regular. Um, it is irregular and there is no name for this shape. So maybe we can call them like a leaf shape or something like that, right? Uh, so, but they, are, they don't have name um, that everyone, everybody, um, each person may call it by a different name, okay? So, so this one. So this is another organic shape okay so shapes are it can be either regular uh, or irregular regular shapes that are called geometric shapes irregular shapes are called organic shapes okay so um, now do you guys uh, i'm sure you guys have learned about the geometric shapes by now in class so um do i need to sh teach you the name this is what is the name of this shape yes you're right that is a rectangle what is the name for this shape a triangle good job what is this shape did I hear square? Good. You guys know your shapes. What is this shape? A diamond shape, right? Then um, what are the shape? 
What is this shape? A circle. So you guys know all the shapes. Maybe you guys know more shapes than these. But we are only going to use these shapes today. Okay. And maybe um, one irregular shape. Okay. So um, what we are going to do is, so you guys know the shapes and you know what these shapes are called. These are the regular shapes. So it is called the geometric shape and um, the other shapes that are irregular are called organic shapes, right? Now, what we're going to do next is we are going to make something um, similar to uh, something an artist have done some time back. So this artist, his name is Alexander Calder. Okay, let me write his name down. Alexander Calder. So he was um, born in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is a place in the East Coast in 1898. That was a long time back, right? So both of, uh, it was, he lived long time back. His parents both were artists. So, and he became an artist too, okay? Um, then, um, when he, what he, he is famous for is, he was famous for inventing mobiles. Not the mobile phone, the things that mob, mobiles. That's how you say it. Mob, I don't know how. So this is, um, if you have a little brother or sister, you would have seen um, on top of the crib, you put hand things that move, right? So mobiles are called so because it moves. It is um, something that hangs and it moves okay so uh, so um he used to uh, he was famous for that and then um he uh, made a famous um mobile called the uh, uh, like a f in, in the form of a fish okay i'll put a picture of that here and what we're going to do is we are going to um make our art today like Alexander Calder's fish okay so um, let's see how we make the fish so for the fish the paper we are going to put it in the landscape stamp this is a big fish okay so and then what we are going to do is I need maybe two finger space on this side. I'm going to put a dot here. Maybe one finger space here. Okay. I put another dot over there and then what we're going to do is uh, we are going to um, draw a rainbow now. Okay. So how do we make a rainbow? So this rainbow, we are going to just start just above the uh, the dot and go all, almost all the way to this uh, dot. Okay, I'm not touching the dot like that. Now I'm going to make a smile. <laughs> it's like this, right? Start from here. It's not touching the dot. Going almost till this dot. Okay. And then now we are going to, this is what part of the fish what do you think i just showed you guys alexander calder's fish mobile right so this is a uh, fish with a open mouth so i'm going to turn that into a mouth so i'm going to put it this way and i'm going to make a v start from here start from this open part and then here now we have almost a shape but this is not a shape because it is not the line is not closed so we need to close this so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to make the tail i'm going to go uh, take a make a line from here upwards a line from here downwards like that and then connect these two okay so we have the fish now this is a closed 
shape, uh, closed line. So it's a shape. My question is, is this a um, uh, geometric shape? Okay. Or is it a organic shape? It is not a regular shape, right? It's not a shape that uh, everyone can identify. It is irregular. So it is called a organic shape. You guys are right. So now I'm going to make a eye up here. Okay. Now uh, we need to make those, um, make some lines to make it look like a, uh, the fish mobile mobile okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw lines in words like this so when i reach the eye i'll stop okay now i'm going to turn my fish around okay making a big mess here i'm going to make some lines coming inwards like that okay now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make V. So this V, can you see how I'm making the V? From this point, I'm going to this point. Okay, now here. Oh, <laughs> so it's easy if I turn it around to make the V. From this here, here, eye, when I reach the eye, I stop, okay? I'm not drawing over the eye. So here, like that, okay? Now, we need to make more lines. So what I'm going to do is from here, from all these points, the pointy part. Can you see the pointy part of the V? I'm going to draw some lines. There is no pointy part here, okay? Then I'm going to make another set of V's. Okay, now can you see a V here and a V here? I'm just going to connect these with lines. Okay, so we have the uh, inside of the mobile. Um, and now what we're going to do now is uh, we have the grid is done so we are going to now uh, make let me grab another color so we used the regular shape outside inside we are going to uh, decorate so um, Alexander Calder's fish mobile if you looked closely when I showed you you would have seen that there is shapes inside these right so we are going to put some shapes inside so and this time we are going to put shapes that are um geometric shapes okay so maybe i'll start with a square maybe in few places i'll put square then i will do a circle in few places and we will do triangles so that's how we are going to do okay so i'm not going to sit and put a shape in each of the thing you guys know um the shapes but if you want to practice making the shapes maybe you should draw this is a triangle how to draw a triangle upside down v and connect it right practice drawing uh, triangles circles is like this start with a c like that and then continue that like a backward c and then close it so it's like c c <laughs> and you get a circle c c okay now how do we get a rectangle um uh, a small line another line it's the same length and connect it one one connect the one okay um how do we make a square ones are closer okay and then connect it okay uh, a diamond it's like a v upside down v a right side up v 
okay so we know the shapes if you want you can practice making those shapes before we uh, draw the fish on the paper i'm going to move this aside and i'm going to take my paper i think i can do this on my i'm ready for that okay so if you want you can take your pencil and draw draw the fish okay or you can take maybe it's a better idea to start with the pencil so uh, maybe i so you take a pencil and draw this okay i'm going to draw this with the uh, black marker so you will be able to see better okay so maybe two finger space on this side i'm putting a dot one finger space on this side i'm putting a dot okay I'm going to make a rainbow. Okay, so am I touch? Did we touch these points, dots that we put? No, just about this. And this part is going to be the mouth. So I'm going to stop here. Okay, this one comes a little bit lower. But here we stop like when you have two finger space away from the dot. Now I'm going to make a smile. I'm also not starting from the dot, a little below. And then I, when I reach almost here, like two fingers, I stop. Okay, the open part, I'm going to turn this into a mouth. So I turn this around and then I make a V. Now I turn this uh, the right way. I'm going to make from here, I'm going to go up, okay like that one line downwards and then I'm going to connect these two now we need to make a circle here that is a good space for the eyes right maybe we will add or make it a little bit more fancy eyes so another circle inside and I'm going to make like that one more line now we are going to make those grids okay so this is the tricky part I know you can do it because you guys did it right last time right so bring make lines coming down like that turn it around make lines coming down Okay, now we are going to make connect with V. Can you see? V. Turn this around. I need to make a V from this point to this point. V. V. So this part I'm not going to draw over the eye not on the eye okay so now next i'm going to make this is dry now lines from from the pointy part i'm bringing down making lines okay then i'm going to make so we should have been that way <laughs> oh god i made it the wrong way it was right okay that is fine sometimes i get confused now i'm going to connect these it's okay if you made did i can hopefully i didn't confuse you the second time So I'm going to take my, uh, what I want you guys to do is now go over the grid, everything with the black marker, or no, the black, not the black marker, with the black crayon. So take a black crayon and go over all the lines, okay? So don't use the marker because we are going to, or if you can use the black marker, I think black marker would be fine. 
use the black marker and go over all the lines that you made just now. Okay, I'm going to go over the fish. Oh, here I'm going to make one more line through the middle. My fish, I'm going to make it nice and thick. Nice lines to show my fish's shape. I'm going to use my black marker and make the eyes nice and bright. Okay, so once you have all the shapes done, what do you think we are going to do? We are going to take our marker and then we are going to practice the shapes. So we are going to use all the colors except black because black we already used, right? So I'm going to start from one end from here and I'm going to work my way to this side, okay? So I'm going to take the red, I'm going to make, um, but maybe I'll start with a circle. Okay, the first one I made a circle. I'm going to color inside with circle, inside the circle, okay, with red. Now I'm going to make another shape. So all, we are going to make all the shapes that we learned. So the next shape, I'm going, I'm not making it next to the circle. I'm like leaving some space. Maybe here, I'm going to make a diamond. It's like an upside down V and the V right side, right way. Have a diamond. Now, what is the other shape that we can make? A rectangle. Okay, I'm going to fill that up. Maybe next, I'm going to make a square. Two lines, connected, fill it up. What shape? Oh, there, triangle. So I'm done making those uh, five shapes. I'm going to put away my red and I'm going to take my next color. Ooh, it is purple. I'm going to take purple. Now I'm going to make the shapes again. So I'm going to start with circle. Next, I'm going to make diamond. Next shape that I'm going to make is a triangle. Next shape I'm going to make on the tail, that is a rectangle. Oh, it became a square, I guess. I'm going to make a rectangle somewhere here. and then fill the shape. I'm going to put this away. I'm going to take my next color, which happens to be orange. Start with circle. Mm. Triangle, no, diamond. Then, Triangle, rectangle, square. Okay, next color, come to me. It is brown, so I don't think I'll have inner space for all. So I'm going to leave brown right now. I'm uh, brown, gray also I'm not using. Okay, brown and gray. So I'm going to move to blue. So if you have brown or gray or black, we are not using that. If you already used, it's okay. Okay. So I'm going to put a circle, start with circle, square. Diamond, mm -hmm. 
see that you spread out those uh, shapes okay a rectangle what did I miss a triangle okay now let me move on to the next color which is green so I'm going to start with the circle here maybe a triangle here a, a rectangle here maybe that is a square maybe a rectangle here I'm going to I don't have many more areas and if I put the green here all the greens would be together so I'm going to move on to the next color yellow <coughs> excuse me I'm going to make a diamond I'm going to put a triangle here and I'm not putting yellow here itself because there is I don't want the next yellow next to it so I'm going to take the last uh, color the pink and then what shape should I make a random shape so if you're not done with shapes if you have more spaces or more grids to color go ahead keep making the shapes okay I'm going to make a square here this looks like red ah that's okay so now the next thing that we need to do is we want the fish to have a background right so what we're going to do is we are going to take a crayon you can choose any color this fish is not swimming in the water this is a mobile so it is like hanging somewhere so maybe it is a wall so you can use any color for this um what color doesn't what color do i not use that much maybe i'm using the green light green and i'm going to color the background so see that you don't color on the fish or the color doesn't get inside the fish you're going to put the color like this sideways and then color it So guys, while we are coloring this, let's talk about shapes one more time. Shapes, there are two different kinds of, the shapes are divided into two different kinds. Uh, one is called the geometric shape. If it is a regular shape that you see, then it is a, called a geometric shape. Regular shapes, the geometric shapes are, some of, some examples are square, triangle, um, diamond, rectangle, okay, all these are regular or geometric shapes. The shapes uh, that you see in nature, like the uh, shape of a flower, leaves, clouds, those are irregular in shape and those shapes are called organic shapes, right? And sh how does a shape uh, how do we get a shape when a line okay um, is connected when a, it's if it is an open line it is not a shape when the line is connected then you get a shape so those are the things that you need to remember and i hope you had fun making this um fish in the style of Alexander Calder's uh, mobile, fish mobile. So till we meet next time. Bye-bye.